the Patreon, guys. You get exclusive shows, and I'm forced to react to all of your recommendations. How great is that? Why haven't you joined yet? Yo, welcome back, guys, to our continuation of our treasure series. It's been a while. It's been a while, but we're finally here. These are the ones that I've uh, been recommended the most, so I'll do this. Tarari, I know, got really popular on TikTok. Pona Pona, I think I've heard the chorus. I saw, like, Baby Monster covering this, too, and I Love You is a very viewed music video and i don't know what this one is um treasure as a group i don't i would say they're not like my ultimate ultimate sounds but i could always appreciate like what empty chords are they gonna do now you know what i mean like <laughs> what is the beat maker going to do this time i think that's just like the merit of their songs even though i do not really agree with their dance party endings just like blackpink do at their end it's just that yg style that's just the one thing that they're, i don't really uh yeah favor too much in their songs that being said let's get into darari mm, i think this is a b-side right sort of like that in hype and polaroid love so let me see if I can find like a vocalist that I really fuck with. <laughs> it seems like the vocalist oh my god it's 12 here okay the commentary of their vocals i think maybe it's the song that calls for it they do all have that sweet honey voice r&b tone right i don't know if they have a power vocalist ballad vocalist in their group which does kind of uh i do kind of prefer that kind of vocalist in a group that power So, so far, I did memorize the rappers Hyun Seok, Yoshi, and Haruto. It looks like they are setting these three as the three main rappers, huh? Hey. And Haruto's voice, man. <laughs> Oh, what the hell, dude? Fucking Doctor Strange <laughs> slingering choreo? <laughs> mm, right? oh. Very chill love ballad. That's Hyunsung's voice, huh? It's very distinctive. Oh shit. <laughs> Their logo is 12 stars? <laughs> Wait a minute. 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah. You guys think they changed it? They'll, they'll keep it, alright? They'll keep it. Forever. Forever 12. I will say though, I think Yedam is still my favorite vocalist. That is the Wamera having a lot of members. The choreo is fun. Formations, everything. But as fun as it is, it's not fun for the choreographers. 
<laughs> there you go. Sol la mi fa sol. Oh, such a banger. Wow. Is it chill love ballad? Do I rank it above the titles? Let's rank it. Oh my god. This is a 10 out of 10, obviously. It depends on what mood I'm looking for, but I gotta rank it within their titles, huh? I'll put it here, I guess. There are we. Wow, I really love this one. In terms of vocal vocalists, yeah, I don't think there's one that's just like, yeah, that really like sticks out to me. And also the rappers, a lot of you guys said like the rappers like blending in with the song instead of trying to stand out with their own instrumental, right, and beat so that they could have their spotlight moment. So in terms of individual members of their like vocal capability, it doesn't look like there's gonna be one that like shines out with me too much that sticks out right that does that you know that iconic bridge high note it just belts it out i don't think they're they're that type of group they're more for the sound bona born to love you i know that's what that means oh. <sighs> Okay. Oh, hey, hey, I think I, yeah, I think I tease this one. I think I listen to this one, yeah. Up to the chorus, I think. What a great star. Oh my god, the symbol crashes. Ooh. I love the drums. Keep going. Okay, that's the entire chorus. I don't know. I I I feel like the second chorus is gonna be something completely different. This is a good preparation for the highlight of the chorus you guys know what i mean great warm-up right with those drums what is that called a tommy drum just a regular jump they're using raw drums you know what is that called what is that a tommy drum? i know what a kick snare a hi-hat is i don't know what this type of sound is <laughs> it's just a regular drum the one in front of you yeah the raw drum but this is a good preparation for the climax of the chorus they kind of blue balled us, huh? I like it, yeah, those drums are nice. And then I guess rap is where they're banking on. Mm. Mm. Okay, okay. I think the rap line is is oh my god. They are my favorite part. This song this song they definitely got their time to shine. Very minimalistic beat. But the flow is insane, especially Yoshi's part, man. Haruto's voice. Hyunseok, I think Hyunseok was the... I think he was the intro for the rap. Yeah, I think he took a step back for Yoshi and Haruto to shine. Oh my god, those glasses in that fit. Alright, okay, okay, okay. Hey. 
<laughs> I love those raw drums. Oh, Yoshi's on the board. Oh my god. Actually, wow, just a straight cutoff of the chorus, huh? Into the bridge. No blending involved. Mm. Uh. Let me guess, dance party? <laughs> no, no dance party? Oh. Okay, dance party. <laughs> dance party. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Oh, okay. Electric guitar deal, though. My opinion on dance parties. I guess I'll get that out of the way. I don't necessarily. I don't necessarily think. You know, I think the most optimal. Like I understand why YG's doing this, but the most optimal, optimal objective. <laughs> you, I don't think you should be doing dance parties as a uh, as a root. This is like the root song. You know what I mean? Like the source song. As the source song, I don't think you should be adding these dance parties in and making them the last chorus. I think you should be these should be the rearrangement for concerts. You guys know what I mean? For the song itself, I think you, should, you just use the last chorus and you do something different with that last chorus. Just like with Boy, right? Boy and... Oh yeah, King Kong had it too. Let me hear King Kong. This athlete. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is sort of a dance party too. Oh my god, oh my god. What is this in my rankings? <laughs> it's a 6 out of 10. Oh shit. Nah, 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 I don't know why. I was so conservative with my rankings back in the day, huh? You know what I mean? I like the style. I think this this is the style you should be going with. Like Chick Jin doesn't do this either. They do with the they go with the dance party. I think the dance party should be the rearrangement for concerts, and this should be your solid sound for the listening experience in Spotify. They do a dance party, then okay. I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Do uh yes, do something different for the last course and and have a mini dance party at the end. Mix it in. My opinion is just make the last course this. Right with the instrumental, and then for the dance party, surprise people at concerts with the rearrangement. Either way, either way. Sarange. Am I recording? I am. Okay. I love you. Hmm. Ooh, summer vibe. A summer song is their most viewed. Came out September 18th, huh? A day after my birthday. Okay. They're in a warehouse with the humongous blue screen in the middle of it. Okay. Hold on. Okay, hold on. 
<laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> we had a nice, bright, bubbly summer concept on the beach, right? Friends, youthful teen drama. And all of a sudden, the demon got a, the, got, got control of the base. <laughs> he got control of the subwoofers. What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Oh, they brighten it up. It's like an electric synth at the end. The second part. Yo, who is that one guy? <laughs> the facial expressions. Is that Haruto in the front? I need that's Haruto in the front. Haruto and... Ah, oh, shit. That's Yedam. <laughs> Haruto, he killed the assignment. <laughs> they all did. Mm. Alright, rap time. Okay. Who the hell is this? <laughs> Who is this? What? Haruto? God, his voice. Is he? I think he's like half. Half Japanese? <laughs> is that Yoshi in the background? He's just revving up. Hey! Is that Yoshi? And this is his voice. There you go. He was revving up. He just was itching to get to his bar. Who the hell was that first guy? That you, That's not young fuck. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, I recognize him without the green hair dye, with the braids, with the afro, whatever hairstyle he's rocking nowadays. Oh my god. Uh, that's him! <laughs> okay. Hey! Youthful teen drama into a horror drama. Okay. <laughs> God, the demonic base. Dun, 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 dun. I love the second part of this chorus. Bright electric synth. Hmm. Wow, this is- I think this is gonna be one of my favorite build-ups pre-chorus. It's nice and bright, and it's got a good rhythm to it and a good melody. Ooh, I like that. Metronome? Uh, dance party. <laughs> dance party. They added something. They added some spice in there. They added something in there. It's only bass. They added something in there, guys. I can't tell what it is, but they added something in there. Oh, they're screaming, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Clouds. You know what? Oh, I like this song overall, but I really, they, I really wish 
they went to King Kong Boyer out with this instrumental. It's so fucking amazing. I don't know what I think that's the common trait, man. I think that's the common trait. When they get these really good beats for the chorus, they're just like, I think this is enough. You know what I mean? Why can't you go the extra mile? You know what I mean? Why can't you go the extra mile and just do something fascinating with this instrumental at the end? Uh, so they, make it, they did it with Chick Jin and they did it with I Love You, their most two favorite uh, music video. But you know what? I guess I'm an outlier because it is their most viewed. But I'm just saying, like, you could make this, you could take this from a 10 out of 10 to a 50 out of 10, right? By just doing something special with that instrumental at the end. Like they did with Boy and King Kong. Let me hear Boy. You guys know what I'm trying to say, right? Like, uh, yeah, last course of Boy, like this. Yeah! So, okay, those are the two paths that Treasure takes. Okay, just like, this is King Kong style. Oh, okay, they do a, they do a dance, like an actual dance break. A honed in, very high quality dance break with the instrumental, or they go the dance party route. And I think people prefer this one, right? This dance break type of style, instead of that unison, you know, dance to dance party route. Whoa! <laughs> They mix it. Ah, uh, just like with King Kong, yeah, they mix it. Yeah, I already talked about this. I have gold, goldfish memory. I literally just talked about this in the King Kong review. <laughs> oh my god. If their songs have this have this in it, I don't mind them doing the dance party unison. Because it gets shorter, right? It gets shorter. Because uh, they need to invest their time with this dance break. With a very different, differentiated, but still similar instrumental. But oh my god, imagine they did something with that bass, you know what I mean, at the end. Let me create it right now. <laughs> this is the dance break. I don't know, dude. Let's do something with this. Let's do something with the end. Is it so hard? Is it so hard? I don't know why they didn't do that. That irks me. That irks me. But that demonic base is so fucking good. <laughs> is it? Well, this is my second. Oh my god. Oh my god. King Kong's actually above boy. Bona bona. Seven out of ten. Oh my god. But the rap line, the rap line in Bona Bona is probably the strongest out of all their titles I've heard so far. Very minimalistic instrumental. They didn't do anything crazy. But the the flow is just insane. Yoshi. Yeah, that's it, guys. Peace out.